This morning we're talking about women's health. Now, most women know that you need to get an annual pap smear every year. Well, it can help prevent cervical cancer when detected early, of course. Now, pap smears look for precancers, abnormal cells, and changes on the cervix that may be a sign of something more serious. Now, the HPV test looks for the virus that can cause these cells to change. So joining me now to dig a little deeper is <clears throat> Master Robotic uh, GYN surgeon, Dr. Sunny Kimashi from a Memorial Hospital. So good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Brianna. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So when should women uh, start getting pap smears? So pap smear, our recommendation is at 21. It used to be a lot earlier, but the HPV um, can be eradicated on its own. So now we're starting at the age of 21. And how often should a woman get pap smears? Should it be annually, every six months? So there are big difference. Annual examination need to be done annually. Cervical cancer screening is a part of the annual examination. So now it's age, uh, based on age. So from 21 to 30, we rec uh, 21 to 29, we just recommend the pap smear every three years. And then between 30 and 65, there are three different kinds of uh, cervical screening cancer uh, testing can be done. So it, one is a cytology, which is the same thing as a pap smear. And the other one, that's every three years. And then high risk, as you mentioned, high risk uh, HPV testing every five years. And then you can combine both cytology, which is a pap smear, and the HPV testing every five years. And then after 65, you didn't, if you didn't have any history of a high grade pre-cancer cervical uh, cells, then you can stop the cervical cancer screening test. But the annual needs to be continued, though. And is there a certain age group that cervical cancer uh, mostly targets? Not necessarily, but the, based on this recommendation, it's uh, between 30 and 65. So anybody can get um, the cervical cancer, anybody can get the HPV infection, but we concentrate at the age group 30 and 65. And we know in recent years there's been a vaccine for HPV. How does that uh, mm -hmm. play a role in lowering your risk for cervical cancer? Amazingly, actually. So this uh, vaccination reduced the uh, cervical cancer incidence dramatically. However, if you look at the um, cervical cancer diagnosed patient, about 60% of them never had a cervical uh, cancer screening test within five years. And then also 20% of them are um, the group that they did not have a proper follow-up after abnormal pap smear done. Wow, so I am curious to know, you know, with uh, the COVID-19 vaccines, uh, is there any way that you should space them out b before getting your HPV vaccine or does that not matter? The HPV vaccine is recommended the age wise from nine to 45 for men and women. So if you are worried about the COVID vaccine and you want to separate, you don't have to get it um, combined all together at the same time. But as I mean, I highly recommend HPV vaccination. So because the cervical cancer can be prevented. And we know that the HPV vaccine is for men and women. Um, tell me a mm -hmm. little bit about that. Um, age is, as I said before, it's from 9 to 45, men and women. It used to be only for women from 9 to 26. Um, if you are diagnosed with HPV already, under 60, uh, 26 years of age, we highly still recommend uh, HPV full vaccination. It will protect you against nine most virulent, um, the HPV uh, virus types against cervical cancer, genital warts, and the... Um, the throat and anal general cancer in men and women. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Suni Kimashi. That was a, a lot of helpful information that I know is going to help a lot of women and uh, young men who might have not even thought about getting that uh, vaccine as well. So thank you again for joining us. Thank you for having me. Have a good weekend.